Now, two people are in critical condition following an alleged clash between illegal miners and a security team managing the concession of Anglo Gold Ashanti in the Obwasi East District. A leader of the Obwasi small scale miners, Nana Inima Ivre II, who is also the Dunkwa, informed Adonte Hene says the clash follows the quest for release of some Galamse miners who sneaked into the AGA's mining site and got trapped. Our Doom News correspondent Isaac Nomanyo has more in the following report. Some Galamse miners are alleged to have been trapped after sneaking into the AGA underground through an entry called Cat's Door or Ramp. According to sources, the leadership of the Obwasi small-scale miners attempted to intervene through a dialogue for the release of those that were trapped. Nana Enima Awe, however, says a violent confrontation ensued when Galamseyers who were not part of the entourage arrived and shot at one of the AGA's water tankers. He says three Galamseyers were shot in the process, with two in critical condition at the Confanoche Teaching Hospital. The two were shot in the abdomen, and the other was shot in the leg. I know that I'm at five o'clock on a yetisa yetisa. I'm saying it's your casa or a kudo. Then I'm saying it's your casa. You're not saying you're going to be coming to the city as a man. You found my friend is also coming. You could not just say in Chima and say. We heard gunshots around 5 a.m. Upon reaching there, some 25 men have been trapped in a mining pit. According to what we were told, the people were struggling to get out. It appears that one of the men who went to the soldiers to call for help was possessing a gun. The soldiers felt threatened. This is what caused the shooting, and casualties have been recorded. We have been able to secure 11 people. The Chiamehene of Ahansu Nyawudia, Nana Kofi Beidu, has called for calm. He says the traditional authority is working to ensure restoration of law and order. The rumor that some people died or were trapped is a lie. People have to verify before spreading such rumors. Nobody was affected. It is not true that some people died yesterday. People should disregard the false information. I entreat everyone to remain calm and not spread false alerts. Isaac Isaac Nomenu support read to you.